Good afternoon from Lanzarote and today we find ourselves up at the Arrecife capital which is the capital of Lanzarote and he's most famous for the hotel the Arrecife Grand which is the tallest hotel on the island uh, there's a story behind it that it was built and Cesar Manrique didn't like it and it miraculously burnt down but then they were told to rebuild it to show what Lanzarote would look like with these big high-rise buildings. So you can see, Arrecife is a beautiful place for a capital city with the beautiful views and plenty to see and do. It's becoming a very popular place to holiday. Uh, more and more people are coming on holiday and staying in the Arrecife Grand. You also have the Hotel Diamar and as well the Lancelot Hotel. So as an excursion company we're selling a lot of a lot of um a lot of tours with pickup from Arrecife. And there's always a pickup and it's always in this area here. It's actually pretty much always at the Lancelot Hotel or a little bit further down where the main town hall is which we'll uh, we'll show you. So this is the Arrecife Grand and we're going to go and have a look inside. If we can there uh, sneak our way in there which you can because at the top floor all the way up there is a beautiful cafe where you can enjoy a drink and some cake and uh, the views are just spectacular but this is the back of the Arrecife Grand and I'm going to take you and show you the beach area and also what you will see if you stop in here there's also a couple of hostels here as well uh, which seem very popular so if you're sort of solo travellers or you're out having an adventure um, and don't mind not staying in a hotel, there's a couple of hostels as well. So you've got an option of what you, uh, what you want to budget for. And just over here is the main Arrecife beach. I think it's called Playa Reducto. But it's gorgeous. And we're going to get a view when we go up to the top floor of the Arrecife Grand. But before we do that, let's go and take a look at the beach. As you can see, they're doing some work here and it looks like they're rebuilding one of the, well, it used to be a nightclub there, but they've changed that and they're rebuilding it. And this is Playa Reducto. Beautiful place. So you've got the Lancelot Hotel just over there You've got the DMR a little bit further on. And of course you've got the Arrecife Grand. So, let's go take a look inside the Arrecife Grand and I'll show you all the way up to the top floor. So stay tuned. So here we are outside the Arrecife Grand. Five star, it's got a lovely spa and in we go for a little nosy around. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna mind me just walking in. So I'm gonna head upstairs to the cafe. You can see a beautiful reception. Really nice. Beautiful decor. And up this way is the lift to take you up to the top floor, to the cafe. So let's go take a look on the top floor so here we are in the lift and we're heading all the way up to the 17th floor and we're going to show you these amazing views as we head up just check this out there's only me in the lift so I've took the mask off and just look at that beautiful views and you wait till you get to the top so as we head up let's just talk about some of the things that are going on in Lanzarote we know that there's going to be tests and vaccines only are allowed in, uh, which we are going to do some videos on once we get the exact information. But there has been some scaremongering going on that the bars and restaurants in Lanzarote are um, only accepting COVID passports. Well, the government have said that if the bars and restaurants want to join that scheme, then they're more than, more than welcome to. And it means they can operate at 100% capacity rather than 75% and also they can remain open for a longer period of time. So for those of you that are arriving, because you have to be fully vaccinated anyway, makes no difference. 
I've got to put my mask back on one second. Okay, we're back. And this is the cafe. And as I was saying, yes, Lanzarote has said that you need to show your passport to get into bars and restaurants. It's if the bar and restaurant decides that they're going to do that, then they will ask for the COVID passport. Now, if you're fully vaccinated, which you have to be to get in here, that makes no difference to you guys. So you can make your decision if that's something you believe in, um, of whether or not you use that establishment. It's entirely up to you. And this is the beautiful cafe with some amazing views, look. You can enjoy a lovely drink and see the whole capital of Lanzarote. Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. A little bit further down is another pool bar and restaurant as well, which we're gonna go and take a look at. Here at the top floor as well, you've got the Altima, which is a beautiful restaurant as well. And it's actually where I propose to my other half. So there you go. That's a, a little blast from the past in there. That was some years ago. So it was a long time ago. So we're gonna wait for the lift because it's all the way down on floor three. And we've got to wait for it all to come all the way up to the top again. And we're gonna take you downstairs to have a look at the pool bar because that is stunning as well. See you in a minute. So we're back in the lift and we're heading down to floor number two from floor 17 and you'll get to see these views again. So yeah, as I said, loads going on. Um, obviously uh, vaccines are needed to get in and we are currently editing a full video to tell you everything, to show you how to fill the forms out and literally a step-by-step -step guide of what you're gonna need to get here because there's so many people asking questions on Facebook groups. There's so many other um, social media channels which are just using this whole situation to get clicks and scare people. And I really, I really do think it's a bad thing. Um, like I said, yeah, if the bars and restaurants are asking for COVID passports, you've got to be vaccinated to come here anyway. So there's no difference for anybody visiting the island. Uh, the only difference is for those that are unvaccinated that live on the island. And if you are coming here and you are for and against the political side of things, you can decide which restaurants and bars you want to fr frequent. It's entirely up to you and it's your freedom of decision, whatever you think. Oh. So let's head out. We're on floor number two. Better get that mask back on, eh? And this is where, get that looking professional. This is where the spa is. So you've got a spa in this direction and it's a beautiful spa, which is open to the public. So you can book the spa whenever you want and it's open from 10 till 8. And then this way is another bar with a pool. The La Buena Vida, they have some shows here as well. So they have some different shows on and stuff, but the views are incredible as well. Oh, thank you, <laughs> gracias, thank you very much. So just look at the views out here then. Really nice. Lots of people as well enjoying a sunbathe. So this is where the main area is for those that are staying here to come and have a little bit of a sunbathe. Just really nice, look at that. And really nice and breezy inside as well. And there's the pool. There you go, a pool bar with a difference, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I wonder if this lady's gonna hold the door open. Thank you, thanks very much. So there you go, that was the pool bar. And we'll head back down to reception and show you a little bit more of reception and everything they do down there. Here we go, back down reception. They're in the festive spirit. And here's a bird's eye view of that stunning reception it's going to take you all the way down look at that beautiful
Lovely place, eh? Just screams luxury. When you come out the door, there you go, and there's my chauffeur waiting for me. <laughs> not really, not really. I'm downstairs in the car park. So, there you go, guys. Listen, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We are currently editing all the information you need. We want to get it right before we start giving you the information and it being wrong or it change. So please, any questions at all, drop us a comment. Anything you want to know, anything you want us to film, just drop us a comment, okay? And if you are coming here, remember that if you want to book excursions, the link is in the bio, uh, excursionslanzarotti.com, part of the Travel On group and we'll make sure that you get all of your places because there is actually a coach strike on at the moment. But like I said, it's not affecting too much, but it does mean they're limited spaces. We'll see you soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Cheers.